Don't she's touching me. I'm not touching you. Oh, you're touching me. Not touching. Touching me. It's free air. I love you so much. I'll never let you go. Never. Ever. Can I at least go pee? No. What? What is this? What is this? Something your father clearly never gave you. A hug. Can I snack? No. <laughs> Bitch, can I please? What's no. Like? I, Fettel, I, I need you to, to, to tell me what you would do if I handed you a horseshoe crab. No, no! Hey, 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 come on, I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy and it's my birthday. Come on, I'm a little birthday boy. You're gonna punch a little guy on his birth. Observe, I am a Rorfian Zopgar. <laughs> On my planet, this is hilarious. Hey, buddy! Squidward! Free cleaning service? Census taker! Good day, kind sir. Would you like to buy some Gil Scout cookies? Hot! <laughs> is it? What's your name? Z. Z, the raccoon? Yeah. What raccoons do? I'm gonna eat your garbage. I'm gonna eat your garbage! <laughs> It's really funny. This is—it's way too hot. It's very warm, and my head's too big. <laughs> over here! Come over here! Check out my new shoes. They're the brand new one, two. Buckle my shoe, three, four. Buckle some more, five, six. Nike kicks. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is so. F yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where's the snow? Why are you smiling like that? I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. Make work your favorite. That's your favorite, okay? Okay. Work is your new favorite. Fine. It's time for the announcement. Okay. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa here? I know him. I thought you were dead. <laughs> no, I was just down here having a nap. What the fuck is going on? You were very still, I punched I'm a you. very sound sleeper. Sorry, you thought I was dead. And instead of calling for help or getting an ambulance, you got someone to dress up as a shit oversized version of me and started singing fucking show tunes. The show must go on. Oh, this is bullshit. How much did your fursuits cost? $1,500. Uh, yeah, mine costed around like $150, a little bit lower than $150. I'm going to whisper this because my mom is right there. Um... <laughs> The partial is 950 and then the bodysuit was 300 Yeah, I, I didn't realize how expensive they can get. Oh, my next one's gonna be like four grand. Oh, wow. Guys, I'm learning to jump for Becky. Help me. Just walk, but like up. I can't walk up, Sophie. That's not how it works. Stupid fuck. Bend your knees. Fucking bend the knees. Who walks up? Oh shit, spiders. They're everywhere. Wait, 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 wait. Hold your beak, Sophie. Oh shit, I can do it. I'm jumping. Jump, 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 jump. Susan what? Jump. How much did your costume cost? I made it myself. So all the fur total cost $500. Wow, that's pretty cheap. Yeah. I've interviewed other furries and the most I've heard was like 9000 Yeah, that's when they buy it from other makers. You're mainly paying for their skills and their time. And it, a lot of time is thrown into making one of these. One day my brother and I were hanging out on the trampoline when I was seven. And he was like, ew, furries are gross. And I was like, what's a furry? And then I looked it up and I fell in love. Do you blame your brother? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what does your brother think of it now? He's, he's down with it. He's like... Eh. Did he become one too? No. No, 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 no. So he's still anti-furry? He's not anti-furry. He's just like, they're a little weird and cringe. And I'm like, well, yeah. Before you leave, 
you need to make sure that you try Waffle House. Yeah, I've heard of that place. Do they like do they like have like top tier waffles? No. High quality food? No. Is it like a good family environment? No. Do they keep the restaurant clean? No. Are they known for having the best of literally anything? No. Will I feel safe there? No. Do they have any healthy options or? No. When they serve me my coffee, can I be sure that there won't be something crawling around in it? No. Are they social distancing? No. Were they social distancing at peak pandemic? No. Would I see this restaurant on Food Network? No. All right, so this place sounds god awful, man. It's a southern thing, man. You just gotta experience it. How I feel about certain design choices with little to no explanation. Yes. Yes. Absolutely not. For me, this one's 50-50. 100% no. Yes, and I don't care that it's impractical. I hate these. I think I might hate this even more. Yes, of course. No. Yes, I've grown really fond of this. Surprisingly, I actually like this. Sure. So, here's the fursuit vision in all of my suits. This is Koda's vision. It's pretty good, and I'm proud since it was the first suit I've ever made. Yeah, and here is Vesper. He has the best vision out of all of my suits. And then Lux, it wouldn't really focus because of, like, the paint clumps stuck in there. So, I can't really get it accurate. These two were made by me, and this one was made by Blood and Gore on Instagram. Yeah. Usually my videos cover the most unique fursuits. But damn, there are a lot of really cool ones, That too. first one was like a caribou. This is a bat. This one is a pink party hyena. I love it. Love how this fursuit looks. I have no idea what it is. Love it, though. Oh, my God, I love this, too. No idea. I want to say this is a griffin. I'm probably wrong. It's gorgeous. I actually featured this suit in another video of mine. Love it even more now that I've seen it in person. Purple and pink trash animals. Hell yeah. Get the star in this one's eye. Confession to make, I love fursuits with pastels in them. Holy shit, these two are so adorable. The horn detailing on this fursuit? Mm. Okay, speaking of horns, I think I angered this goat because- Oh god! They're charging! Oh! Just- just a gorgeous suit. Do I overuse the word gorgeous? Too bad, it's gorgeous. Really don't see these colors together too often? I appreciate it. Hey, there's me! These guys are all adorable too. See ya! I get this question all the time, so I figured why not just make a video about it? Most of my furs are actually bought online, so that means they're pretty accessible to anybody, and here are a few of my recommendations. The first place I'd like to recommend is BigZFabric.com. I love them so much, they're my go-to. They have a bunch of different colors of fur, even different lengths and patterns of fur, and they just always have what I need in stock. The second one would be HowFabric.com. I love ordering from them. They do take a little while to ship, but it's totally worth it, and they tend to have a bunch of different colors of fur that are harder to find. My third would be fursuitsupplies.com. I don't tend to use them very much because a lot of time they're out of stock of the things I need, but you may find something that you need. A few other places I like to browse on occasion are mendelsandfabric.com. You can also search for local fabric shops as you never know what you might find. All of the online recommendations I gave all have very high quality fur and I love using them and I use them for commissions. I hope this information helps. <laughs> Hey, Peter Parker. You got something for me? You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door! These are some of my favorite things to do as a furry. Love to watch my favorite show. This season is so good. <laughs> then I go outside for some exercise. Do about 10 furry trots back and forth. I start with a big howl. So I'm super thirsty, you guys, so I'm just going to take a sip of water as a furry would. A lot of people don't know that one of the superpowers of being a furry is that you can telepathically communicate with cats. No, I'm so jealous of you. You get to poop in a box. Stop playing in my litter box. You're disgusting. Anyways, Cooper, I'm really jealous of you that you get to poop in a box and I don't. You already did. Also, I'm always munching on my favorite kibble. I also love to chew on my favorite toy. I got this at Furries R Us. <laughs> but yeah, guys, comment down below for a part two. And I'm going to say goodbye in my furry language. I have determined I will no longer be caring about the opinions of mortals as I no longer have the funds to renew my subscription to giving a shit.